Good morning. So for anybody who's been a Christian for more than five minutes, you'll hear the words, you know, we're living in the last days or end times or so forth. And I think that it's important for us to be well-read, well-versed in scriptures, that we understand the days that we're living in. And so this morning in my one-year Bible, I was reading in Matthew 24, and I would encourage all of you to read it. Um, read Matthew 24 in the Gospels, in Matthew chapter 24. And um, basically what, um, what uh, strikes me, well, so many things, but what uh, a word of encouragement is just that um, we don't know the day or the hour. We don't know. Jesus said, you know, there's going to be a wars and rumors of wars and it's going to be troubling times and we will be hated and people will be killed for their faith. We've seen that. You know, I remember a couple of years ago, there was that horrible incident in the Middle East where they beheaded a bunch of Christians. Um, it's just, yeah, persecution has been increasing and um, there people will be lover, lovers of themselves and um, there's going to be so many things, um, famines and earthquakes. And that was kind of the one that I was um, thinking about. Have there been more earthquakes, Lord? I'm not really sure. And I know that um, Pastor Jack Hibbs and also uh, Don Stewart are really good about following end times uh, prophecies and their fulfillment today. Um, I'm not that well versed in it. But my encouragement is read the Bible, read Matthew chapter 24, and then just look up, look around, you know. And, and it's been heavy on my heart to just be praying for the lost um, people that we know. And even just as we're going about our day, people that we may encounter um, that don't know Jesus because I don't want these people, my neighbors, my, um, you know, even my, my clients, you know, many of you know, I do family law and divorce and I know a lot of, um, ex husbands or ex wives. We don't want them to go to hell. Yes. They've hurt the husband or the wife has hurt the husband or the husband has hurt the wife, but we don't want them to go to hell. We, we want them to repent and so that is my um encouragement is that we would be praying for the lost because we definitely are living in the last days and so i just read right now briefly matthew um 24 pastor david guzik comment and he said why wasn't jesus more precise about what we would see in the last days you know it was kind of vague as what um pastor david guzik said and he said one reason is because he wants his followers to be ready at all times so you know how when when your kids are little you tell them we're going to get a treat today and they say well what treat well what time and you say i don't know you better be a good boy you better be a good girl all day because a treat's coming well is it going to be for dinner is it going to be for breakfast is it going to be you know late night snack what kind of treat what what are you talking about and you say it's coming it'll be soon and you you do it not in a way of um being mean but you do it to build up that excitement. And so Jesus wants to build that excitement in us that he is coming soon and that we need to be ready at all times, you know, at all moments. And even last night I was praying for our friend Tim who was recently diagnosed with stomach cancer. And I thought, you know, the rapture could happen tonight. I'm down, I'm ready, Jesus. But um, also it's his kindness that leads to repentance and he's not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. So we gotta keep praying because there's many, many people we know and love that don't know him. There's many people groups that don't know him and so let's continue to pray and father i just bless you and thank you for this gorgeous sunday morning lord this is the day you've made we will rejoice and be glad in it charm is deceitful and beauty is passing but a woman who fears the lord shall be praised and that's what we desire we want to be proverbs 31 women and, and even men that might be praying alongside with this video i know you desire to be a psalm one man a man planted by the rivers of water uh, bearing fruit in due season and so lord please help us to be ready i just think of of a bride and that's exactly what scripture tells us as well. A bride, she makes many preparations. She gets her nails done. She gets her hair done. She buys her dress way in advance, maybe even a year in advance. She um, schedules appointments. She does so much to prepare to be gorgeous and spotless. And, and, and just, it's such a special day for a bride to, to be wedded to her husband. And so 
all those preparations that a bride makes, how much more should your church, the bride of Christ, be ready for you making the preparations, Lord? And so help us to be ready in season and out of season, Lord. And there's so many troubling things and so many painful things, you know, Lord. I pray for our friend Tim as he's battling stomach cancer, Lord. We know you're greater than cancer. We know that you're greater than COVID. We know that um, you're in control. You're in full control, Lord. And anything that touches or afflicts our lives, Lord, we know that it went through your fingertips first, that, that though you did not create evil, um, sin and disease and death and decay has touched this life the moment Adam and Eve sinned. And so, Lord, we want to pray for Tim. We want to pray for a healing over his body, dear God. Um, I pray for Jessica and Henry and Holti, the two children, the sweet boys. Lord, I don't know if they fully understand. I remember when my sister was diagnosed with cancer, Father. Her girl, girls didn't fully understand that older ones did, but the younger ones just knew mom was sick and they were sad. So please, Jesus, comfort this whole family. Be with Kelly and Matt and, and Jamie, all of the family everyone that loves Tim we all love him and we pray for a healing touch from you over him and for Christina Wolf as well and for Tom and um, David and Sarah that whole Wolf family I pray for them and I just pray father that for revival Jesus that you would send revival fire Lord we're ready we need you Jesus in these last days we want to walk in your ways we want to turn from darkness to light God and so we just pray for um, our government we pray for our pastors teachers leaders God we pray that you would just um, Holy Spirit pour out on the, our church in the churches in these last days God we love you we need you so desperately in Jesus Amen. God bless you.